I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out Lunabot. Lunabot is a very lightweight music bot for Discord that plays music from a whole host of different sites. They play, they play it from Spotify, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and a bunch of extras that you can see on their website. So to add Lunabot to your Discord server, all you have to do is go to your server name, click on it, go to server settings, and then clip, click on app directory. Type in Luna, and then find Lunabot over here, and then click add to your server. It'll want you to tell you which one you want it on. I'll put it on my test server. It'll ask for all these different permissions. Everything looks fine to me. And then because I've been doing a lot of these videos today, it also wants to verify that I am people, which is understandable. I am very suspicious. Could be an alien replicant. You never really know. There are a lot of apples in here. Do, do, do. There we go. I, I promise you, Discord, that I am not one of the robots. I promise. Alien replicants are technically a bioorganic thing, anyway. All right, so that's done. Now it's back on my server. It'll pop in and say hi and be like, hey, uh, thanks for adding me. And then it'll tell you the prefix. Just know that most of these bots are switching to a slash command, so I wouldn't bother memorizing prefixes. So, and there, this is also a bot with premium support. So we're going to type in slash help and we'll check out what's available. So they have a little embed here. Um, they literally could have just put all their commands in this embed instead of just <laughs> wasting the space, but whatever. Um, we'll go to music. Here's the music commands. Again, a lot of these music bots all have like the same sort of setup. So you'll be able to recognize these almost immediately. It's just like a real life music player. They've also got some premium features like 24 hour support, adding servers because you can have more than one premium server at a time that you pay for. They've got different filters, links, and you can set up a default volume. They've also got some utility features that you can check out, like Spotify ID, avatar, help, how-to, invite, ping, profile, and all that good stuff. And then down here we have the admin controls, like setting a DJ, which would be like your music moderator, who's in charge of the music bot, which is really handy to have. You've also got um, setup, text toggle, voice toggle, and more. But what we're mostly interested in is the music playing feature. So we're going to type in slash play, and it's going to ask us what we want. And I'm going to search for NCS, and it's going to search on sound. Oh, nope, it just started playing. Cartoon. Normally when I start, uh, no, wait, did I want to search or did I want to play? No, I wanted to play. Normally when you type in play and search for NCS, if I don't immediately hit enter, it's got this little pop-up up here that allows me to select between several different songs. And I can then add those to the queue and hit enter. But as you can hear, the bot immediately jumped into the channel with me and started to play music. And it's very clear. It sounds good to me, at least. And it doesn't sound weirdly stuttery. Well, teeny, teeny tiny bit right there, but that could just be me running OBS. Um... Again, I tend to record these videos in the middle of the afternoon when it's not peak hours. So your mileage may vary if you use this at eight o'clock to play games with your friends. So just keep that in mind. So from here, we can pause or resume the different music that's playing via the buttons on screen. You can also skip forward and back, fast forward, forward and back and change the volume of the bot, which is all very handy. You also have the ability to do that same thing using slash commands, although my personal preference has begun to become just using the buttons because they're there and they're bright and they're really easy to use. I guess I need to type in resume, not pause. Um, but you get the idea. So you've got all those commands. They're very easy to use. And then we can also check out the queue. And this allows us to remove different things from the queue via the number Although it's worth noting that the removal tool, if you don't pay for this bot, is locked behind a vote wall. And that means you have to vote for this bot by logging into one of the different bot sites that they want to like get their ranking up on. And that unlocks it for a certain amount of time. So that's why I'm not gonna demo that. But we can also just skip to the next song in the queue if we want to. That you don't have to pay for. And then when you're done using the bot, you can just type slash stop. 
and then that will clear the queue and the bot will stop playing music. Although normally a lot of the bots will just like leave the channel, but in this case, that's not what it's doing. Um, so from here, let's check out the set DJ role just because that's always important to people. So you type in slash set DJ and it asks you which one of your roles that you've set up that you want to use. I've got an orange one that I typically use as an example. Now, if I give somebody like the bot, the DJ role, this would now have admin command power over the bot. So you would normally, if you're a random user, you'd have to vote to skip a song with everybody else who's listening just so people can't troll it. In this case, a DJ could just do that whenever they want. They wouldn't need anyone else to vote on it or their permission. Uh, normally, the only people that have that power are admins or server owners. So yeah, that's a brief look at how to set up and run LunaBot. It's very lightweight, very good quality. Check it out for yourselves. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.